so hi guys um i'm just coming in from i'm just coming from um, an event and at the event something nasty something really really nasty happened what happened somebody called precious v i'm not in the stainless precious stainless precious he he says he is a comedian he's called stainless precious he claims he is a comedian he at the event he goes joking about rape and i tell him you don't joke with rape in fact he says uh one of the things he was saying he said uh who are all the people who have been raped here raise your hand i want to give four four million around to the people who have been raped here and i even climbed on the stage to tell him that people do not joke about rape rape is not the kind of thing people should joke about and he continued he had the effrontery to continue and after after everything even after costing him he insisted that rape that it was comedy and the point here is is rape comedy is rape a topic that people should use for comedy he claims he's a comedian will alibaba joke about rape the people who now it is high time we drew the line as somebody who was raped, the first time I was raped, I was a child. I, I was a child. I deal with issues of rape daily. And there's no reason why I should sit back and watch somebody be inhumane publicly and denigrate the entertainment industry by alleging that he did it because he's, because he's a comedian. Pre precious, that be stainless precious, whatever his name is, is not supposed to do that. And while this was happening, adults sat and watched. This thing I'm telling you happened for a space of up to about five minutes. I even climbed on the stage and told him that talking about rape is not a joke. It's not a joke because it gets to incite or it, it not, inc not incite is not the word I'm looking for. It gets to re it's a trigger for trauma. I climbed on stage and told him, despite the fact I did that, he continued joking about it. He said things like, um, after people go, they talk, say they rape them. Meanwhile, they don't rape them. Excuse me. Like really something bad happens to people and you want them to prove to you. It is bad enough. Rape is not a rape is not okay to be joked with we have lost known people in the Niger in nigeria the, one of my most favorite broadcasters in fact that made me want to read mass communication made me want to read news is no more today and it is because of a rape incidence we cannot sit back and continue watching people justify who, who jokes about rape he says his name is stainless precious he is an Abuja comedian and he claims that he was only joking that as long as he's a comedian he can joke about everything i climbed on the stage and i told him that you do not joke about these things and then he said something about rapists so people were there and they started asking that they write rapists for face that after uh, it started off with him you know cracking jokes about me and my activism i don't have a problem with that everybody's entitled to an opinion but when you start saying things that become triggers for people who have suffered these things it is right for us to tell you that you are doing wrong i have been shouting it i will not stop to shout it and next thing people come and tell me things like you know you are running for office in actors guild of nigeria Abuja chapter maybe you should keep quiet about it on my honor if telling somebody that rape is a, is not something to be joked about, is what is the reason why 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 would why would I even come up in the fact? In fact, the fact that I am running for office is the reason why I need us to realize that you should know that you you must have you must take a stand. You must call right right and wrong wrong. The fact I'm running for office does not make wrong right, and that is why I have even decided to do a video. I want us to call on comedians to order. Let us join forces and call all comedians to order. Starting from Alibaba, he should have a say in all these kind of things. We should not sit back and watch people turn into animals and justify. And adults were sitting by and watching this kind of thing. I am not taking a swipe at anybody's character because I don't want to know who raised him and why and the circumstances. But right is right and wrong is wrong. Unfortunately, the person is not pressing charges. I, I mean... You, you don't come to a public place and start, and, and, and start joking about rape. It's wrong. It is wrong. I have been raped. Not once, not twice. 
And I keep on insisting that rape is wrong. For what is worse, I will be most obliged and happy if we can get this to go viral and let us warn people. Entertainment is okay. But I mean, because somebody who didn't bet to be born with disabilities exists, people now come up and make jest of the person's disability. That's a total no-no. People don't bet to be raped. And so if such a thing happens, we should make sure that they are not further traumatized by people under the guise of comedy. Comedy should make you laugh. Comedy should not bring tears to your eyes. This boy has done injustice to humanity, and I even cursed him. I said to him that he, I'm a Christian, and my Bible says that no curse without a cause will ever rest. In the presence of people, I even climbed on the stage oh, to go and tell him that the things you're saying are triggers. I climbed on the stage at the point he said, where are the people who have been raped here? Raise your hand, I will give for 4 million naira. And I climbed and said, the first time I was raped, I was a child. That's not, that, that's, not, that's not the kind of memory that I would like to remember every time. The mere mention of the word is a trigger. I have lost friends. I have lost role models. I have seen people commit suicide because of rape. I have seen people struggling to stop trying to commit suicide because of rape. I have seen people trying to get to the point where they can tolerate people of the opposite sex because of rape. I have seen people go through, get diseases that they will live with for the rest of their lives because of rape. I have seen people need re surgical repairs that have not been able to do so because of rape. I have seen people who are broken. Rape is like a death sentence and it is serious. We need to let these people know that rape is not an issue for comedy. It is not an issue for comedy. You can say whatever you want about Dorothy and Dorothy's activism, but you dare not use rape as an issue for comedy. He said a lot of things, so I hope I will remember all of them before I end this video. He said all sorts of things, and then at some point he was saying things about who, who they go like rape and who they don't go like rape, that he too, at a point, he go like me, they rape him. What kind of rubbish is that? And then when I went to accost him after the whole thing and said to him that, look, the way he's going, maybe it should happen to him or somebody close to him for him to understand. He tells me things about fucking, fucking, excuse you. you I don't want to, let's not, let's not, let's not, let me not, let me, because the, the, the usual thing to say would have been he wasn't raised well. Maybe he was raised well, but he refused to learn these things. It is our duty. What happens today in our society is what we have permitted. It is our duty to call comedians to order. It is not okay. Rape is not something people joke with. I've been raped over 20 times in my life. I don't enjoy any of them. And anytime people say anything about this, especially when we sit down and we see people who have been hurt, a lot of people haven't even come to the point of opening up about what happened to them. But they have to sit down. You don't take yourself to a public place and get further traumatized. I went out this evening to have fun. I didn't go out to be broken. I didn't go out with people so that they would hear, they, they, they would be made to feel guilty for not enjoying rape. No, that was what he's, that was what he was trying to do. So for what is worse, on every entertainment media, on every blog, it is, I think the question out there is, is rape comedy? Is rape an issue for comedy? It is not funny and Precious stainless needs to know or stainless precious whatever his combination is needs to know it is not comedy Every comedian needs to know that entertainment is a powerful means of um, Entertainment is a powerful means of uh, Promoting values in the society Rape is not comedy for over five minutes. This thing continued even when somebody a person Dante went to tell him to stop it he continued, and then he was talking about raping of men and everything. How it is funny. Men get raped, children get raped, women get raped. We cannot continue taking this, this, oh no, it's not okay. It's not okay, and I had to pour it out live. So it's not because she said they didn't say, let there be a video that says exactly how I feel. I will start engaging comedians, starting from Alibaba, who is the first person I identified as a comedian, no, I will start engaging. To so tell them, excuse me, brossier, you to follow for those people. When you say rape, not joke, if you say it is not, call that person to order. 
don't only like the videos don't only watch the video don't only share the video engage everybody that claims to be a comedian i am an entertainer too yes i mean there's a limit to what i can do i mean when people come out this is real life you don't come you, you don't you don't i mean there was somebody recently that was giving excuses of why people of sexual minorities should be should be harmed who died and made you king to encourage people to be violent to other people? It's wrong. It is wrong. Let's stop promoting this inhumanity. The madness must stop. Rape is not comedy. Rape is not an issue for comedy. And everybody, every artist needs to be told this. This is the message that people who claim to be artists should start. I mean, you don't go about committing sexual violence. His utterances amount to sexual violence because his utterances further traumatize victims of sexual violence who were there. It is wrong. Totally, totally wrong. And guess what? I still paid my bills in the place. I bet he had free drinks. I bet he didn't pay for his drinks. I paid my bills. What he did is wrong. He should be called wrong as far as wide as possible. Thank you all for tuning in. I totally appreciate. Um, D, everybody, I appreciate all of you that have tuned in. And I will not stop saying wrong is wrong simply because I'm vying for office in Actors Guild is a lie. That is the more reason why I will talk. I'm vying for office. I talk in Abuja. I still confess for your votes. But let us call wrong, wrong and right, right. Thank you all. Please kindly share this video and engage everybody. Social media, bloggers, everything. Let us, let us, let's correct that narrative that rape is a joke. Let's correct it. We've lost people now. We can continue losing more people. Thank you very much.